You just bring your focus first to the physical posture as you allow the hips and knees to relax. Feel the movement of the lower belly as you breathe in and out. If you're feeling a little tension in the shoulders, go ahead and shrug them up and back. Let's stay here for a few more breaths. All together, inhale, hands to heart center, and shake all three times. Take a breath in. Oh. And our next exhale, open the eyes, release the posture, and let's come to a standing position on your mat and get in position so that you can see your computer. Because today, as we slowly go through some movements in standing position, I'd like to really focus on our awareness of the integrity of the foundation. So let's walk through Tadasana. Remember, we start with our feet hip width apart. How do you know if they're hip width apart? We're all different. Put your two fins together. See if you can fit them in between your feet. That's hip width apart. Tension on the big toe and our heel. As you bring that attention there, automatically you already feel that your knees are sternly rotating out. Hip points are rotating out. Now, it's gonna look a little strange, but I'm going to face backwards and show you what happens to both buttocks cheeks when you do that, okay? So here I am standing it normally. You can see that my knees are coming in a little bit. My ankles are out. You can see where my butt is. As I bring attention to the big toe, heel, knees, certainly rotate the whole leg out, the femur in the hip joint, you can see how my butt cheeks come closer together. Now, I'm not clenching the butt. It's just that I move that femur around and certainly rotate it out. And that gives you a really firm foundation you want to be aware of as you go through staying positions. All right, go ahead and come to the top of your mat. Jasana, big toe, on the heel. Knees, hips, feel that nice widening through the pelvic girdle. Shrug your shoulders up and back, releasing tension in the back of the neck and the back of the shoulder and the higher sides. If you tend to exaggerate that lower curve in the back, slight pelvic tilt forward, tuck in the rib cage. This is your tadak that we want to be aware of throughout the class. Let's begin. Open up the palms, bring the arms up. At the top, hands together, hold here, head is neutral, drop your shoulders, widen the armpits. Take your breath in. And to exhale, to drop the head back. Review your foundation. Hold here, another nice breath. As you exhale, release the hands down, release the chin to the chest, all the time being aware of foundation from toes, knees, hips, spine. Again, inhale, arms up, head is neutral. At the top, hands together, release the shoulders, widen those armpits. As you inhale, review your foundation once more. 
and so it's around the head there. Hold here. See if you can bring the shoulder blades a little further down the spine and towards the spine. Exhale, release down, chin to chest. Inhale up, head is neutral, hands at the top together, drop the shoulders, we do your foundation. This is a nice slow side bend to the right. Take your breath in. As you exhale, bend to the right. Keep dropping the shoulders as you bring the torso to the right. Head is looking underneath the left armpit. You can maintain equal weight on both legs when you maintain that integrity. Let's hold here. Nice slow breath for four, three, two, and one. Very slowly, inhale, rise up, a little of that awareness. Hold here, regroup. Take a breath in, review the foundation, exhale, drop head back. Keep the hands extended. As you exhale, bring your head back to neutral position, getting ready for the left side bend. Take a breath in, and exhale to the left. Take as many exhales as you need to come into this position. Aware of your foundation, aware of the shoulder blades gently coming down the spine and towards one another. And let's hold here. Four, three. Two, one, with awareness, inhale, rise up. At the top, bend your knees, swan back, halfway down. Exhale, swan back down, halfway. Stop with the torso parallel to the mat. Arms extended, roll the shoulders back. So you're really engaging the muscles that are the shoulder blade right now. Feel your hips over your heels. Look down at your feet and your knees. They're nicely parallel to one another. As you exhale forward, fold, come all the way down. Cut the chin, fingers and toes align if you can. Doesn't matter if your knees are bent. Just roll those shoulders up and back once more. If you like, you can straighten your knees a little bit or all the way, wherever you are. What's important is that I don't let go of the awareness of big toe, outer heel, knees, hips, shoulder blades. Let's hold here for four, three, two, one. Reverse one dive with knee tap. So bend the knees first. Review your foundation. Inhale, extend the arms in front of you. Oh, sorry, this is not a swan dive. Okay, with arms in front of you, can come up. Ready? Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release your hands to your sides. Review your foundation. Inhale, arms up. Head is neutral, and together at the top. As you exhale, let's come into the cactus arms. You can do your foundation, you can do your shoulders. Taking tension from the shoulder, top of the shoulders and neck, let's really think about the shoulder blades. From here, as I exhale, I bring my hands down and behind me and look to the right. Inhale, hands come up. I look in the middle of the Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. You do your foundation. Exhale, right. 
Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Hold here. Keeping our hand in scarecrow position. Let's run back down. So bend the knees first. Right to renew your foundation. Exhale, swan eye halfway down. Keep those elbows in line with the shoulders, shoulder blades, nicely engaged. Hold here. And exhale, forward fold, release the hands to the mat, toes and fingers in line, lift hips, drop head, up, chin. We're just warming up, so don't push, just like gravity. Start to lengthen the back of your legs. Hold here. Shorter count, four, three, two, one. Swan dive up, bend the knees with the head, lengthen the back. Inhale, and send the arms to the sides. Hold here, go the shoulders up and back. Hold this position. We bring your foundation, big toe, our heel, knees, back, shoulder blades. Inhale, right all the way up, extend arms up high. Exhale, two scarecrow arms. This kind of movement is inhale, bring the arms in front of you, elbows and hands touch as you drop the head back. Exhale, open up and drop the chin to the chest. Remember, we really want to be aware of our foundation. So we're in position. Review the foundation. Inhale. Exhale, close the arms in front and down the head. Here you have to open up, rub to the chest. Inhale. And it's. Inhale, drop those shoulders, engage the shoulder blades, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Good, it's good. Hold here, thin arms to the side, palms down, swan dive down, bend the knees, redo your foundation. Take a breath in, exhale, come down halfway. At the halfway point, take a look at your feet, knees, hips, shoulder blades. Take a breath in and exhale, forward fold all the way down. Bring the shoulders up and back. Hold here. Slow breath. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then, okay, here's the difference. Coming into chair pose, bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. So my hands are pointing down towards the back, palms backwards, fingers still in line with toes. Shrug the shoulders up and back. Feel this foundation right now. Look at your feet, look at your knees. Feel that exterior rotation of the femur in the hip joint. Maintain that position as you inhale, and send the arms in front and then all the way up. And sit into your chair. Widen the arms. If you need to, let's tuck that pelvis under. Elongate the spine. Only as much as you need to sit the building. Look back. Can you still see your toes? Good. Head back to neutral. Drop the shoulders. Hold here. Good. 
Be relaxing into it. Once you have nice alignment, you can hold this forever. You just have to get the spine aligned with the neck and over the pelvis. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then come up and inhale, rise up, straighten the knees. Keep your head exactly where you are, with your foundation. Inhale, come up on your toes. Maintain awareness. Big toe, upper heel. Your little, the heel is not touching the floor. Knees, hips, pelvis. Keep the rotation in. Arm is fine, head in the middle. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, drop the heels, find your foundation, bend the knees, exhale, swan dive all the way down this time. Hit the half of the mark, keep going, forward fold. Over here. Four. Three, two, and one. Coming into chair pose, bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen in the back. Review your foundation. Look at your feet, your hips, and knees. Inhale, extend arms overhead, sit into your chair. Make adjustments as you need. And then return the head to the toe, widen the arms. A little one-legged squat as we rise up. Go ahead and shift away from the left leg. Bring the right toe off the mat. Inhale, stand up. Now the right knee is floating in front of the right hip. Do your best not to let that left hip fall off to the side. Hands together. As you exhale, Right ankle on top of the left thigh, hands to your heart, and down into a one leg chair. Inhale, rise up, extend arms, release the ankle, right knee in front of the right hand. Exhale, swan dive down to so release the right foot. Swan dive down, hit the halfway mark, and then continue on to forward fold. Maybe into shoulder blades. Hold four, three, two, one. Then knees lift head, lengthen the back. Enjoy your foundation. Inhale, extend arms up, and sit into your chair. Take the time to review the foundation. Opposite side, shift the weight to the right foot. Bring the left heel up. Hook off the ground. Inhale, straighten that right knee. Left knee in front of the left hand. Hands together. As you enter, come into your one-legged chair. Crossing the left ankle over the right side. Inhale, rise up, release the left foot, left ankle, left knee in front of the left hand. Think about the entire view of that same way. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Lift the half of the mark, forward fold. Fold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Then knees lift, head lengthen back. Review foundation. Inhale, extend arms up to the chair. Maybe you can sit a little deeper. 
Shift away to the left leg. Right toe comes off the mat. The inhale straighten up. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands together and some hands to heart. And let's cross that knee over and sit into our one legged squat. Hold. Four. Three. Two, one, inhale, rise up, extend arms, right knee in front of right foot. Exhale, swan dive down, hit the halfway mark, and then exhale to your forward fold. Four, four, three, two, one, bend knees, lift head, lengthen back. You do your foundation, you go back up to chair. Hold. As you inhale, shift your weight to the right. Oh, no, oh, wait, sorry, shift your weight left. Oh, no, which way is it? Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Shift your weight right and come up. Actually, I can't remember if this is the front foot or not. All right, hands together. Cross the left over the right. And this into me, your squat. Hold up here. Four. Three. Two. One. You can rise up with the dead arms. Let me in front of the left hand. Exhale, last one by down. Hit the half on the mark. Forward fold. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend knees and head. Lengthen back. Check your foundation. Inhale. Extend arms up. We're sitting in the chair. This time, shift the weight to the left foot, bring the right knee up, and then inhale, extend up. Hold here, four, three, two, one, and so hands together, come down into your one legged chair, and hold. Four, three, Two, one, inhale, rise up. Four, four, three, two, one, exhale, swan back down. Hit that halfway mark, then continue on. Hold here, four. Three, two, one, then knees and lift head left, lift up the back, shift your foundation. Inhale, let's stand arms up, sit in your chair. Shift the weight to the right. Lift the left toe off the mat. Inhale, stand up. Hold here. Four, three, two, one, hands together, and step, one in each hand. Four, four, three, two, one, in the step, extend the arms, left knee, floating in the left hand. Four, four, three, Two, one, exhale, so you release the left toe down, release the hands to your thighs, your back into the back, so let's redo that foundation. Toes, heel, knees, hips, lower back, rib cage, bring the shoulders up and back, head of the knee. Engage those shoulders. 
Open the hands and the arms up. Hands together at the top, widen the shoulder blades. Feel this position. And let's do a side bend to the left. First, with time to take a breath in. And then exhale to the left. Awareness on your foundation. Toes, knees, hips. And let's hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly come to center. Be aware of the squareness of your hips the whole time. Hold here. Let's find an awareness once more of your tadasana. And exhale to the left. I mean to the right side. Sorry, sorry. Hold here. Slow the breath. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, slowly rise up. Hold here, review the foundation. Are you ready for a back bend? In stages, relax the shoulder blades down, widen the armpits. Feel like your butt cheeks are coming in towards one another as you externally rotate that femur within the hip. Take your breath in and we'll talk. If you act up, only the arms come behind you and drop the shoulders on top. Inhale, we'll talk. Exhale, drop your head. Shine the heart towards the side. Keep lifting up. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Here we come to center. Feel the foundation. Feel the return of the back. It's fine nicely over the hips. Bend the knees. Feel the foundation. And then exhale, swan back down. Pass through the halfway point. Continue on to your floor and floor. And let's hold here for four, three, two, and one. Stepping back into plank. Inhale, step back to plank. Stay the words here and that's the light tilt forward of the pelvis. Engage the core. Hold here for four. Three, two, one. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips up. Maybe you need to walk your feet forward a little bit. Go ahead and let's hold. Push through the shoulders. Do your best to release the tension right at the top of the hamstring where it connects with that. Even here, be aware of big toe, outer heel. Slight external rotation of the total way. Hold for four, three, two, and exhale, release the knees down. You can go ahead and shout to pose. And let's hold here. Four, three, two, and one. 
Padrasana, lift the head and lengthen the back. Inhale, sit up. Hands lightly rest on our knees, rub the shoulders up and back, for the arms. The nice rejuvenating position for the lower body is we really put a lot of mental and physical focus from the top of the down. This will appear. For four, three, two, and let's roll back into a nice low squat. Lift the hips up, hands come in front of you, curl the toes under, and as you exhale, push back to a low squat, and then arms around the shoulders, tuck the chin. Hold here. Four. Now, even in this position, you still want to maintain the proper alignment of big toe on heel. Think about your knees and hips. And let's shrug the shoulders behind us, really engage the shoulder blades, even though our arms are extended overhead. Chin is hot. Hold here for another three, two, one. Coming to downward facing dog, release the hand on the mat, slide them forward. And as you exhale, the chips. And deepen right into your downward facing dog. And let's go. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And while looking at your hands, inhale, step the right foot forward, reach with your hands, coming into lunge. Let's think of our foundation, right foot, big toe on the heel. Think about that knee and hip. Back leg, hip points are pointing down towards the mat. There is slight pressure on the top of the left foot against the mat. That helps maintain the alignment of the left leg. If you're feeling good about this position, Nice balance, release the hands, lift the torso, hands up by our sides, palms take the knee. Run the toes up and back. Integrity of your foundation between the feet, knees, and hips. Open the palms, in the arm. At the top, hands together, and release the shoulders down, widen the arms. Hold here. Head is a new one. Eight. Seven. Keep awareness of that right knee toe and outer heel and the knee. You want to have that exterior rotation of the legs so you engage the inner thighs. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release the hands to the man on either side of the right foot. Curl the left toe under. Inhale, step up with the right, and exhale into down with the dark Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Well, get into your hands. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Come into lunge. Again, do that same mental review that we did on the right side. Left toe over here, heel angle. Left knee and hip, engage with that inner thigh. Slight touching in contact with the right foot under the mat. Even here, as I feel my Team is rotating out. I feel my left and right legs coming in towards one another. That's for really nice stability and alignment. All right, feeling comfortable with your balance, you need to hands with the torso. Hands up by your sides, palms in. Shrug the shoulders up the back. Open the palms. Inhale, hands up. At the top, hands together, and release the shoulders up. Don't let go of your integrity of your foundation. 
hold. Pretty. So. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, release the hands down to the Curl that right to the under. Inhale, step back. And exhale, come right into the downward facing dog. And let's hold for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release the knees down. We can let the child pose. Counting down to four, three, two, and one. But Rasana with the head length and back. Inhale, sit up. Here's your feet right here on the thighs. Roll the shoulders in front and back. Close the eyes. Now, even in this position, we have a tendency to jet the rib cage forward. So let's bring everything in mind. There's a slight engagement of the core to do that. Once you find that position, hold. You feel this nice belly breath here. Our chest is nice and tight. Let's stay here. Counting down four. Three. Two. And as you exhale, open the eyes, release the position. Let's come into a sitting straddle position. And you want to bring your block or cushion in front of you. It's important to hold in this position. So as you come into position, just to review, toes, knee are pointing up. We want to anchor through those six bones. If you need to put a tissue underneath your six bones so that you have a nice alignment of your spine, go ahead and do so. We'll come down 50% of the way to put your cushion on the left side. Let's turn the torso towards the left, hands on either side of the knee, roll the shoulders up and back. Take a quick look at your right leg. It's still in alignment. Anchor through that. Right sits well. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, come down halfway. And let's hold this. And one in. Even in these seated positions, I maintain big toe, out of heel, exterior rotation. I never let that go because that keeps the hip. Knee and ankle in alignment and really helps me align my spine over the pelvis. Sometimes we have a tendency to tense up the quad, the muscle on top, relax there. Exhale, come down another 25%. And let's hold this for two minutes. Maintain the flexion of the ankle, but I help maintain the alignment.
<clears throat> a little bit deeper, but what we've done in the past is time as you inhale, come all the way. You slowly use your hands for support. Inhale, come up and face forward. Let's do the opposite side. Turn the torso towards the right, hands on either side of the knee. Quick look, left leg is still in alignment. Take a breath in, and as I'll forward pull, just to that halfway mark, anchor through that left sit bone. Let me see what I sell. This is going to be another 25%. Don't lose awareness of your legs. A nice, long, extended spine. And if you can, let's see the shoulders behind us, open the ears. Meaning that we need to have awareness on the shoulder blades also. Slowly coming out, move the head, use your hands for support, inhale, right up, and face forward. Okay, this is a little revolved twist towards the left. So take your left hand, press it over your body, towards your right foot. Roll the shoulders up and down. Stay the right arm to the side, open the palm. Inhale the right arm up, set your shoulders. As you exhale, Keep the body pointing forward and coming down to the left. So maybe your left elbow is on the mat. Do your best not to let your right shoulder fall forward. Anchor through that right sit bone. So it's a really nice stretch here on the right side. And let's hold this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. To come out as you inhale, first the right arm points up towards the sky. Bring the shoulders behind you. And I'll inhale, rise all the way up and release the right arm. Meet the left arm. 
The key to this uh, pose is not to let your body fall backwards. Keep centered over those six bones. Right arm crosses the body, roll the shoulders up and back. Extend the left arm, open the palm. Inhale the left arm up. Once more, set those shoulders and feel that you're centered over your sit bones. Okay, take your breath in. And as you exhale, it's a side and to the right. You're looking underneath your left arm, and that keeps the left shoulder from flying forward. Anchor through that left sit bones so that you feel a nice stretch all along the side of the torso. And let's close for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and we're going to come up slowly, only the left arm, inhale, bring it up towards the sky, palm feet forward, and then inhale again, rise up, in knees, the arm, both arms in front of us, forward and forward, sit our left in front of us to come down halfway, hands in front, roll the shoulders up and back, feel the sit bones, quick look at your legs, happy with the alignment, take a breath in, and then exhale, hinge from the hip, come halfway down, and let's hold here for one minute. Exhale, let's come down another 25%. Hold here for two minutes. Let's hold here for And then gently come out, lift the head, use your hands for support. As you inhale, rise up. 
Once you get into the metabolism, you stay here. Everything's going to settle down. And then bring the legs together with the push it out of it. Let's come into butterfly position. Hold it here. Close the eyes. Let's hold this for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and as you exhale, release. And let's come on to our backs. And why don't you uh, keep your rock or your cushion with you? And let's come into a nice supported little mini shoulder stack. So remember, you want to put the blocker or the position in between your tailbone and your sit bone. Body the position where there's absolutely no tension on your lower back. And your legs can point up. Once you're positioned, you never put your head from side to side. Okay, so you exactly where it is. You can keep your hands on your cushion or your block for stability. That ensures that your shoulders and spine are nicely uh, connected with the mat. And if you feel good, go ahead and extend the arms over your head, thumbs up. And stay here, close the eyes. Bring the focus to each breath that you take. Let's stay here for three minutes. Now you have the choice, you can come into Savasana or you can stay like this, whichever is more relaxing for you. If you do come out to Savasana, place your hands on your block first, bend the knees, gently bring the feet to the ground and just roll up and then lay back down into Savasana.
Thank you, Madam Olivia Savasana or laying down. Please come out of your position. And let's gently remove the back to our toes and ankles. Fingers and wrists. Knees, hips, elbows and shoulders. As those move your body smooth, we can twist a little bit from side to side. Feeling a little bit more movement on the belly, spine, chest. Allowing the neck to move from side to side. And all together, let's roll over up to the sides. With the support of your hand as you exhale, let's push up to the same position. Bringing our hands into Chizuga. Both from the eyes. Just finding that awareness of the quiet breath. So this is a variation of a nice yoga practice I like to do after a long trip, whether in the car or an airplane, you want to slowly wake up and move all your joints and bring muscle groups. So it's a nice gentle way before you just dive into a um, more vigorous practice. All together, inhale, bring hands to heart center, sharing on one time, take your breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, body down to the chi chi And then you gently coming up. Let's open our eyes. We're back into full awareness. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day.